And uh, yeah, look at example seven. This is a hyperboloid of two sheets, as this one right here. So this one says, identify and sketch the surface 4x squared minus y squared plus 2z squared plus 4 equals to 0. So dividing by 4, we got to get this in this uh, standard form there. It's going to be hyperbolic of two sheets. Uh, we first put the equation in standard form and see what happens. So let's put this all there. So we have this 4x squared minus y squared plus 2z squared plus 4 equals to zero. So what we'll do is uh, divide everything by four. Well, this uh, right side is going to be just zero. Uh, it's still zero. And then this left side is going to be, well, this cancels and be an x squared minus y over four. And then, uh, yeah, we divide it by four, just get rid of this uh, right there. And this one's going to be two over four is going to be uh, one over two. And this will be two, and then it's going to be plus one, like that. And actually, we were wanted to divide by negative four, so uh, so we put it negative four instead because we're going to move this over and we want a uh, positive one there. So we'll do put a negative. So this is going to be negative plus negative, and then this one's going to be negative one. So we'll move it over to the other side, equals to one. So negative one, move it over, and we get that. So there is their standard form there. Now we have two negatives. We have a negative x squared, the negative uh, uh, z squared. This would be two negatives as well. But instead of, uh, yeah, but then the y ones will be positive. So it should be, uh, horizontal. This can be, uh, instead of this uh, going up. So then this, this one, uh, yeah, would, would indicate that the, the axis is there. But since it's the y, then just by symmetry, it probably means <laughs> oh, it's going to open up like this. Yeah, it's going to open up like that somewhere. And then this is, uh, y is going to be the axis of this hyperboloid of two sheets. And, uh, yeah, so comparing this equation with the table one, we see it represents a hyperboloid of two sheets. The only difference being that in this case, the axis of the hyperboloid is the, is the y axis. Is the y axis like that. All right, going further. So, uh, the traces in the xy and yz planes are the hyperbolas. So if you have xy, uh, that's gonna mean, uh, that's the horizontal one. So you have the x and the y. So that means the z is equal to uh, zero. Yeah, so in other words, you're going to have z equals to zero. And then if you plug, plug, uh, plug that in, you're just going to get a uh, negative x squared over, actually not over anything, just negative x squared plus y squared over four equals to one because uh, the z uh, vanishes. Uh, and then for the y z planes, that's going to be, uh, let's look how the y z would be. This is the y and the z. So in other words, we're going to have to have the x uh, is zero. So this is going to be at our x equals to zero. This is going to be, well, this is going to be vanished. It's going to be y squared over four, uh, and then minus z squared. z squared over two equals to one, like that. And uh, yeah, so these are hyperbolas because there's just a negative sign there. So there's a negative sign and then the plus. Uh, otherwise, it would have been an ellipse uh, if they were both positive. Uh, or, um, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, if they were both positive, they would have been an ellipse. But since there's one negative and one negative, yeah, they're both hyperbolas. So going further, uh, the surface has no trace in the xz plane, but traces in the vertical planes y equals k for absolute value of k is greater than 2 are the ellipses. And uh, first, uh, we'll, we'll illustrate that here. So this is the xz. So we have the x like this, z. So that means uh, this plane right here. So that means the y is zero. So again, uh, just basic uh, stuff there. So y equals to zero. Or uh, in this case, well, uh, well, actually, we'll show that first. Uh, we'll show the y equals k. Then I'll show you why uh, when y equals zero, you're not going to have it in this uh, xz plane. But so when when uh, y equals to k, we're going to get uh, negative x squared. And then uh, this is going to be a, yeah, this is going to be, uh, k squared, move it over to the other side. This one would be negative z squared. Negative z squared over 2, and then equals 2. It's going to be well, 1 minus, 1 minus k squared over 4. And what I'll do here now is just get rid of the uh, just minus uh, on these two left sides. I'm going to just uh, minus by 1 on both sides. So what we're going to get is a uh, x squared plus z squared over 2 
equals to k squared, it's going to be positive, and then minus 1, like that. Yeah, so we have it like this. Yeah, and uh, this is going to be, uh, yeah, and these are going to be, uh, yeah, they're going to be ellipses. So this is an equation of ellipse as we showed before, uh, but we need uh, k, the absolute value of k has to be greater than 4, otherwise it's going to be negative. I mean, uh, absolute value of, of k has to be greater than 2, uh, but k squared has to be greater than uh, 4. Yeah, so I'll just uh, write this down. So k, uh, yeah, so k has to be uh, greater than, this is, um, yeah, k is going to be, uh, it's going to be greater than, or actually instead of that, yeah, just absolute value of k has to be greater than 2. And uh, yeah, if, if k equals to 2, this is the right size going to be 0, we're going to have a line and so on. And uh, that's going to be uh, trivial, so we'll just ignore that. And uh, yeah, also, so, yeah, so there's no trace in uh, x at, uh, I mean, in the x at plane. That's because, uh, again, if, uh, if k, uh, if y equals k, or y equals uh, k equals 0, you're going to get, well, uh, that's going to be 0, so you're going to have this negative 1 on this side. You're going to have uh, x squared plus z squared minus 2 equals negative 1. And this is positive, and this is negative. So this is uh, less than zero, greater than zero, or greater than zero. So this is not a solution. And uh, here I just wrote a not a real solution, just because uh, yeah, you could probably use a real, uh, uh, complex numbers or imaginary numbers to uh, make that fit, but not real numbers. All right, going further. So the above equation, this one right here, can be rewritten as... So we just divide this all out over to this other side. So we're going to get, oh, let's put this down here. So x squared plus z squared over 2 equals to uh, k squared over 4 minus 1. So divide it out just to get it in the standard uh, ellipse form. So divide this both out, or just divide this out uh, on both sides. Or just move it, oh yeah, just divide it out like that. And we're going to get x squared over... Uh, k squared over 4 minus 1 plus z squared over 2 k squared over 4 minus 1 equals to 1. So there's our ellipse in standard form or almost standard form. We just got to get the square root somewhere there. Uh, but this is uh, all right. And this is uh, also for y equals k. So this is our equations. So we rewrite all that like that. And that's for the y equals k plane. All right, and uh, these traces are used to make the sketch below, and uh, so we'll go back up here. So we have this sketch, we turn it over uh, to this, and then the traces in the x, y, and uh, and then y, z planes are hyperbolas. So that's a key indicator, and that's these hyperbolas right here. And so this one's going to be the front one, this is going to be the 2. So at the z, we're going to have, uh, I mean at the y, we're going to have a 2. And then on this side right here, yeah, the y is also a 2. So this means a 2 squared. So this means we're going to have something that looks like this. I'll draw this. Um, this is the z. This is the x, like that. And then this is going to be the y. I'll draw the y like this. And, uh, yeah, this, that's the y. And this is going to be at the 2, actually. This is going to be... At the 2 and negative 2, just by our equation, this is going to be at 0, 2, 0. And this is going to be at 0, negative 2, 0. And we're going to get high hyperbolas that extend outwards along that y-axis, because it's a positive one, and on both of the uh, x and the z. This one is a 1. Um, this one is a square root. It's going to be bigger than 1. So then it's actually opening up bigger on the vertical side than the horizontal, which is the one uh, variable below it. So that's going to be something like this. Let's see if I can draw this out. It's going to be something like this and this. And, and then these ones are all ellipses like this side on the uh, vertical uh, traces. So this is at the y equals k. So whenever you have a plane like this, y equals k, where uh, k is greater than 2, the absolute value of k is greater than 2, you're going to get a hyperbola. But uh, when it equals 2, you're just going to get, yeah, you're going to get an equation uh, of a line.
and, and so uh, you're going to get that point. But it's not going to be hyperbola. It's going to be two points uh, or two lines. So what we'll do is, is yes, that's what it looks like. And then also the horizontal. I know, or yeah, the horizontal is also going to be a, um, yeah, this is going to be a dashed line. Just like this. And this dot, 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 dot. And then this dot, dot, dot. And this extends it out. This is Y. This X. All right. This goes like that. And this opens up like this, and then uh, that draw the ellipse dot dot dot, and uh, yeah, this extend this out. All right, so something like that, and then there's the horizontal, uh, this like this hyperbola. Yeah, so it looks something like that, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so again, those ellipses, the vertical one is going to be like this. The, that that equation, something like that, and then uh, yeah, graphing in GeoGebra, we're gonna get something that looks like this. So that's exactly it. There's an equation: four x squared minus y squared plus two z squared plus four equals zero, and it automatically converts it into uh, this um, hyperboloid of two sheets. And let's go to the uh, this one right here. Hide this. Show this, and there's our shape. That's pretty uh, epic stuff there. Yeah, let's play around with that.